Hi guys, my name is Carly. I'm a junior here at UNCW. I just transferred from Cape Fear. Um, I've lived in Wilmington my full life and something about me is I love photography, um, making paintings, and being outside. So I will be showing y'all the art demo. So yeah, nice to meet y'all. Hi guys, my name is Ben. Uh, I'm going to be the editor for this video. I'm a junior here at UNCW and I'm from Greenville, North Carolina, which is like pretty close to here, you know. And a fun fact about me is that I really enjoy the Phoenix Suns. They're my favorite basketball team and they're going to win the championship this year. Hey guys, my name is Elise. I'm a junior here at UNCW. Um, I'm the filmer of this whole project. Um, when I grow up, I really want to be a flight attendant. Hey guys, my name's Ryan. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm a United States Marine. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up for Castle Dodgeball, and I wanna be a helicopter pilot when I grow up. What's going on, you guys? Uh, I'm here today to show you how to play Castle Dodgeball. So the objective of the game is to build a castle using hula hoops or stack of boxes or something that a team can easily knock over. Um, the objective is gonna be to build your castle and then protect it from the other team trying to knock it down. So I'm gonna show you how to make it out of hula hoops. You're gonna start by putting one hula hoop down as the base of your castle. You're gonna need two more for the walls. Then you're gonna need two more for the other walls. This part's kind of tricky. There we go. And then one for the top. Now, what's gonna happen is, your team's gonna construct a castle, and the other team's gonna construct a castle, and you will all have balls and line them up in the middle, just like regular dodgeball. Except, instead of throwing it at the other players, you're gonna be rolling the ball, or throwing the ball, trying to knock down the castle. And, if you have more materials, your team can have more than one castle, and that'll keep the game going a little longer. Thanks. Hey guys, so today we are gonna be making some flowers. As you know, spring is coming up, so I thought it'd be fun and festive to be making a few flowers. Um, for our younger friends, this is something um, similar to what your art might look like today, and for our older friends, this might be what your art looks like today. Um, so, the supplies you're gonna need is some paper, colored paper um, and any type of art supplies. It can be markers, crayons, colored pencils, um, glue stick, and scissors. So I'm going to start off with an example for our younger friends. Um, you can take any piece of paper for your background. I'm going to use blue on this one so it looks like our sky. And for the flower, I'm going to use this bright color because I think it might look well on this color. So. I'm gonna take a marker, and this is optional, and I'm going to draw out the flower I want and then cut it out so I have a little bit more of something to go off of. So I'm just gonna draw a pretty little flower. And I'm gonna cut it out. And while I'm doing this, be thinking of what's your favorite flower and what you might like your art to look like. Y'all can be as creative as you want on this. Um, the background can be whatever you want. If you want to add butterflies, birdies, um, a bright sky, sun, grass, insects, it's whatever you want to do. So we have our flower and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around so we don't see those marks. And so, the flower is gonna be the center, so I'm gonna put some glue on the back, and it's gonna kind of set up where I put my stem and my sun. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle, make sure it's glued down all the way. And this is gonna be more for our younger friends. So for our younger friends, we don't really need to cut out the stem and leaves, um, but we are just gonna draw our stem and leaves with a marker or a colored pencil. So as you see, I drew 
the stem and now I'm going to draw leaves and we're, I'm going to make sure they're colored in all the way looks well, nice and pretty and you can take your time with this guys there's no rush and so we've got our blue background I'm going to add some grass just to make it look a little bit more in an environment outside so we've got our grass You could even add a little Easter bunny or um, some butterflies or some a tree in the background to make it more springy, whatever you want to do. And so I'm going to draw the center of the flower. Um, usually you want it to be a different color so it shows up. So I'm going to take this darker color and do our center. And I think I'm going to add Hmm. I'm going to add some more clouds. They're going to not show up super well since the background's blue, but I want them to kind of blend in. And I think I'm going to add a sun behind one of my clouds. So I'm going to take my yellow and just draw a happy little sun behind my cloud. And this is also something to keep in mind, guys. You see how I'm using the yellow on the blue, it's coming out green. So if there's a certain color you really wanna show up, make sure if you, you might wanna use white if you want like certain colors to come out good. So here's my little sun. And this is also something to keep in mind, guys. You see how I'm using the yellow on the blue, it's coming out green. So if there's a certain color you really wanna show up, make sure you're, if you, you might want to use white if you want like certain colors to come out good. So here's my little sun. Kind of looks green, but he is yellow. And so this is what it might look like for our younger friends. Um, it's going to just look like a springy little flower. And for our older friends, you're really going to be doing the same thing, except you're going to be cutting out um, your stem and leaves. And I would like for you guys to try and do multiple flowers. You can do two flowers, you can do 10 flowers. Um, you can make them small, you can make them big. I did three roses here. And our older friends might know a little bit more about um, coloring and making our petals look a little bit more detailed. So if y'all wanna do that, you can. I added some thorns on the roses and um, this little part of the rose, um, but yeah.